Next comments. Yes, sir. My name is Deepak Waikar from Singapore Polytechnic. I just wish to know what are the barriers Singapore is facing to become Annex One country under Kyoto Protocol. Thank you. I can't hear you. Uh, what are the barriers Singapore will face to go to Annex One country? Annex One country under the Kyoto Protocol. Climate change. Maybe you want to just elaborate a little bit about your <coughs> query, yeah. Professor? Okay. Uh, annex One countries are those who, uh, which have decided to have mandatory uh, cut in emissions. And Singapore being world class in many respects, showing global leadership in water and energy technologies. So what are other barriers Singapore is facing to become <coughs> Annex One country under Kyoto Protocol? If you exclude what we export, uh, the energy that we have to use for shipping, for petrochemicals, which we do not use, but it's really just for export, then we have already complied with Annex One of the Kyoto Protocol. The problem is, as a small economy, we've got to do these things because it's economic for us to take this high carbon footprint industries, which the more developed countries do not want, and then we export the products. So we have no choice. If you want us to comply with NX1, then we've got to close down the petrochemicals, close down our tanker refueling, and close down many other things, then how do we make a living? So you got, there was a report from some UN agency that gave us a very high carbon footprint. So we pointed out to them that this is really our domestic carbon footprint. And this was for export. Uh, we hope one day that, you know, all this high energy uh, products need not be in Singapore. We move on to high tech. Uh, then we are not polluting the world. That, that will take some time. Therefore, we, that's why we are heading for more R&D, not only in the products which we can use, but in products which we can help others use. We are moving as fast as we can into a more knowledge intensive economy. But you know, if you move too fast, you create unemployment with the people working in the factories, then you get voted out. 